all right how motherfuckers doing today and shit it's your boy league auto repair uh bringing y'all another video today gotta keep these joints going for y'all and shit so um what i'm gonna be doing in this video pretty much i'm gonna show y'all how to um solder some wires together pretty much a wire repair i'm not at a car or inside of a shop at the crib or whatever this is something that can be done in a matter of minutes you can do it anywhere so the things you will be needing for a job like this um make sure you get i'm well let me tell you what i'm gonna be using and how I do my shit. So I got some uh, some heat shrink. Got me some um, 18 gauge 18 gauge wire. Um, pair of wire strippers. Electrical tape. Um, and then I got this uh, power probe uh, soldering kit. So uh, let me open it up for you so you can see. All right, here are the instructions. Got your little wrenches right here to uh, take the tip off. I'll show you that in a second. These are your different um, tips right here. Five of these right here. Um, your sponge, make sure you put some water in it. I'll show you how to clean that in a few. And um, this is the actual, uh, this is what you will be using. So let me put that off to the side, what you're looking at right here. Um, this is your tip for it right here. This is the part that burns. This has been used. I did a bunch of jobs with this. Hasn't let me down yet so far. Um, only thing I ever need to do to it is uh, recharge it with this uh, butane right here. You can get this from your local parts store, anywhere that sells like butane. Probably Home Depot, whatever. I always go back to the uh, parts store because they always have it. So um, make this work pretty much right here. You have your on button right here. And this is pretty much, uh, it regulates how much uh, butane you want to mix in pretty much. So you got low setting, then you got high. Um, stuff that's hard to uh, hard to melt, hard to heat up the wire. You might want to turn the temperature up that way. But uh, I always keep it like right here is fine. I don't want it, you know, wasting all my gas pretty much. So first thing I like to do is when I'm doing a job like this, I'm gonna charge it up. Now to charge these things up, similar to anything that's in this form that can be charged. You get my drift and shit, right? So. Um, Take this needle right here and you're gonna line it up in here. After you got that in, level upside down, make sure it's straight and press down on it. And you're gonna pretty much just let me filling it up until it shoot out like you just saw a second ago. So it'll look like this when it's full. Just like that. All right, so let's put this off to the side. All right, so next, I'm gonna cut some wire. Um, this is an 18 gauge wire. I know that because if you can read small lettering, um, it'll say it like, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but um, focus is not that great. I can see it says 18 gauge. Always match your gauges up when you um, put two wires together. So, um, you want to start off with your tip. All right, these holes right here, these are made to strip the wires, just the outer part of it. It's right here, the blue part. Oh, let me get the camera angle right. So, uh, you want to take off like uh, maybe like a quarter of an inch, just like that. And um, all we're doing is taking the, the plastic part, the outer part of it taking that off so once you press down on it move it around and you'll see it break free just like that and um, just pull it off just like that now this is what it looks like all right maybe pinch a little bit just don't crush it all right so I'll leave that just like that next I'm gonna cut this off because I need more wire So I'm gonna do the same thing. Move these wires off to the side. Now I'm only gonna do wire, one wire because this applies to different size wires. So I only need to show you once and plus you can rewind the footage if you want. So let me take off a quarter of an inch. All right, so got my two wires. What you wanna do is pretty much um, to get these wires connected. Um, let's uh, spread them a little bit. Spread them too much. You 
kind of you kind of going to like uh, fuse them in together. So that's why you need to spread them in, spread them apart a little bit. All right. All right. Now fuse it in between, just like that. And you're going to twist it. Sometimes you might got to hold it down, twisting it at the same time, but it's not bad at all. And you're going to keep twisting. And it should look like this. Won't be perfect, but this is feasible. Next, you're going to be using a heat shrink tube and four right here. Um, get one that matches up to the wire size so that way it won't look flimsy, won't look fucking shitty and shit. Um, small enough so that way when it shrinks it wraps on there real good so get this side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut like maybe this much off because i want it to seal right here and right there so use these wire cutters cut them off all right that's that now i'm going to loop it through Sometimes when you're doing wire repairs, it's best to loop this, the heat shrink through as soon as you can because one end may be sealed off and you won't be able to get through it, but at least this way, you got one open so we could fish it through. All right, so, it may come apart a little bit, so I should get it like that. Um, next, I like to set my wire up somehow. Um, Whichever way I can. Um, makes my life a lot fucking easier. Alright, so, like I said, got my heat shrink on, got the wires twisted together, right? And next, what I'm gonna do is, I'm um, gonna get the solder. If you wanna know what this is, this is a. Uh, Rosen core. Um, this is good for using electronics and stuff. If you see acid core in the store, do not use that because that's for plumbing. We're not plumbing. We're doing mechanical shit, electrical shit. So use Rosen core. All right. So I'm gonna pull this out. You can buy this from a parts store, just like this too. So all it is is wrapped in coils in this uh, cylinder right here. So I'll uh, pull it out, and you want enough slack because you're gonna aim it not aim it but you're pretty much guiding this shit on just like that like a fucking paper clip that's what it looks like but it's way 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 softer than that and it's metal of course but um all right so first thing i want to do is i want to turn this on i already got my heat setting on and hit the trigger to ignite it and you'll hear the noise and then you'll know it's on and you see uh, inside this hole, do not put your finger in there because it gets hot, it gets red there. So if you can see in the camera, I don't know if you can see. Yep, right there. So now, I'm gonna just get some fucking soldering on. So let me just, mm -hmm. All right, so. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is, you wanna heat this up, the exposed part, heat it up for maybe 20 seconds. Make sure you heat up all around it. You know it's getting hot because uh, some of the blue insulation, uh, it'll start to melt away. But we don't want that to melt. It all up under there and I'm heating it because so that way this tip I mean not the tip the, uh, the solder it melts on there and it won't melt on there right if the surface isn't hot itself So it should be good to go. Let me heat up the bottom of it. All right, so I'm right hand. So I'm gonna take this just like this. And all you're doing is just, just watch.
see how it's melting on there like as it's melting it's forming like a, a little drippage all you doing is guiding it over as soon as it drip guide it over and you get that right there shut it off let's see how I made it out now um, see how it looks it looks good now you ain't gonna be able to get everything but I got most of it I don't want to saturate this with a lot of fucking solder so uh, it looks good to me try to pull on it it won't break nothing that's good so that's that you done on that part make sure you shut this off and uh, we have it sitting just like that let it cool off all right so that's all got that shit soldered on right look good uh, now I want to cover this up put some type of insulation on it so you want to put it like directly in the middle just like how I showed you when you when I was cutting it and uh, make sure it's centered right and um, we use, use a lighter we use this uh, torch again it's too hot that's why I'm not using it but you can use something simple as a lighter uh, I know most of y'all motherfuckers out there smoke fucking cigarettes and shit or whatever else you fucking smoke uh, I ain't got nothing to do with that but um, let's take a lighter don't put the flame, flame directly on there keep it away and you'll see it shrink on there sometimes you gotta rotate it around Look at the back side of it. See how it's shrunk on there? You don't have to go in all crazy. Make sure it's right. Alright, so that's on there right. So next, uh, what I like to do is... Use some electrical tape. Because that helps with the insulation process. And... That's just what I like to do. So, take some electrical tape, just like that. And I just want to wrap it on there tight. That's that. So um, that was all tool for this job. You need that much things. Maybe this might be too expensive for you, but there are other things similar you can use. But um, yeah, that's that. Ain't nothing to it. Connecting the wire, soldering it. Rewind the footage back. Ain't nothing else for me to fucking talk about. Cleaning my tip off right now, so I'm trying to multitask while doing a fucking outro at the same time. So uh best I can get the fucking tip so yeah that's that so easy soldering for you um any questions problems leave it in the comments you could message me like I said like I always say in my fucking videos make sure you like it if you like it if not you can fucking dislike it I won't fucking care um comments like I said leave them in the fucking comments that's that it's your boy Leak Auto Repair I'm signing out this motherfucker look out for the next video